In this video, we're going to look at equivalent sets, not equal sets. Equal sets are when there are the same elements in one set as they are in another, the same elements. Equivalent sets has to do with the number of elements in a particular set, the cardinality of the set. So let's look at two sets. Let's take A and B. Set A has in it 1, 2, 3, and 4. Set B has in it red, yellow, blue, and pink. If you can match the element in one set to an element of another set, making what's called a one-to-one -one correspondence, then we say the two sets are equivalent sets. Nothing can be left over. Everything must be used in each set. How about set B and C? Are they equivalent? Well, we could match red to Earth. Maybe you should match red to Pluto. but And we'll match yellow to, to Mars. And we'll match blue to Pluto. Notice there was nothing to match pink to. So B and C are not equivalent sets. We say A is an equivalent set to B. A and B are equivalent. B and C are not. How about D and E? They're a little bit different kind of sets because there's an infinite number of elements in each. That's what the dots at the end are showing us here. Let's look at those two. D and E. D has the elements in it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We call those our counting numbers. So D is 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. E is 3, 6, 9, 12. I can match 1 to 3, 2 to 6, 3 to 9, 4 to 12. You may actually find a little pattern right here, what's happening. E is three times the matched element as is in D. So if we look at the N as an element in D, it would match to 3N in E. So therefore, D is an equivalent set to E. And it's a particular equivalent set. It's said to be denumerable. Denumerable means that if you can match the counting numbers, and these are the counting numbers, to another set, then set E is said to be denumerable. I hope this helps you now with the idea of equivalent sets and the idea of denumerable. And as always, have a very happy day.